family. My name is Makita Waterman. I'm the CEO of Top Writing Services Incorporated. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about spring 2021 trends. As you know, I always come with the good uh, updates and trends that not only have I researched on um, the internet, but trends that I have noticed that have been working out for different companies on several different apps, including email marketing and things of that nature. But I think today I'm going to focus more on strategy than actual ways to go about doing things as far as like social media, email marketing and things of that nature. So anybody that is first watching this video, I welcome you to click the follow button. I've got more content coming soon and we are going to get straight into it. Anybody that joins the line, feel free to leave comments below. I am here to pretty much answer any questions that you have and potentially talk about some issues that you're experiencing with your social media or internet branding. So first and foremost, show off your wins. I know I don't talk about this too much and I actually just started implementing this about, I'd probably say about five or six months ago. I used to be that entrepreneur that was very, very modest instead of showing my honest uh, accomplishments and things of that nature because I didn't want people to think that I was too full of myself, but how are your customers or your potential clients or followers going to know how successful you are if you are not sharing your wins? So when I say wins, I'm talking about maybe you do an, an advertisement or a campaign or you're putting out content on social media. Maybe something goes viral or a piece of content just does really well with respect to, I'm going to shift something here with respect to um, maybe a big company likes your content or they upload it and they share it on their stories. You need to take screenshots of that or download that piece of content and definitely share it on all of your platforms um, if you can to let people know how good you're scaling. Let's say you do an email marketing campaign. Hi Brenda. Or maybe you do some kind of a grand opening or something of that nature. Showing off your wins are, is very, very important. And I know, um, like myself, I used to be that modest entrepreneur that felt a little uncomfortable with doing that. But you definitely want to take screenshots of all of your wins. And uh, feel free to ask any questions if you have anything uh, to ask me as I'm going through this presentation. So um, a win can be maybe you put out a product and it sells out within 24 hours. Take those screenshots of your back end of your website. Um, maybe you have a grand opening on your website or in person and um, a local influencer comes by. Definitely take that footage and share it. Or maybe you do a social media advertisement and the insights and the clicks are much more than you were expecting. Take those screenshots, uh, download that content and share it on your platforms. Um, and you don't necessarily have to show your wins and achievements every day, but once a week, it doesn't hurt. I do it. I take screenshots at the back end of my um, social media insights or if a big um, account reshares my content. And I do that because no one's going to know if I don't show you what's going on in the back end. So make sure that uh, at least once a week, take some screenshots, share your wins. Um, if you maybe tag a company and they reshare it on their stories, to take a screenshot of that or download it, whatever the case may be, and share it with people and let people know that you're winning behind the scenes because that's a sure enough, um, it's, it's going to build your reputation as a successful company or an entrepreneur and that people really, really like what you're doing. Um, other things that you can do, if somebody mentions your company in a blog, maybe on the HuffPost or CNBC or maybe just a local newspaper, take a screenshot of that, uh, photocopy it, um, take a photo of it, share it with your audience online. Uh, don't be modest. I really think be honest with your achievements because that's what people are really looking for. We can all share our services and products every day, but if people don't know that people are mentioning you or big um, sites or organizations are men mentioning your company, uh, how else is anybody going to know about that? So number one, share your wins. Uh, number two, TikTok advertisements. So I don't know if you've been uh, spending time on the For You page, but on TikTok I've been seeing big companies like Revlon um, and what they're doing is Fenty did it not too long ago, actually last summer, Rihanna did a Fenty advertisement on TikTok and she actually had she didn't really advertise the contest on the platform, but she kind of started telling influencers and just regular people, um, you know, play this video, 
take my products, you know, create kind of like a mini commercial and the best people that uh, fit with my brand, I'm going to put them on my Fenty Beauty TikTok page. And I think she also shared some of those people's videos on her Instagram stories. Now, what better opportunity would it be to jump on um, an advertisement and then get people kind of um, to start doing little videos? And of course, you have them sign a disclosure that you'll use this for marketing. Make sure you get that out of the way. You don't want to take somebody's image or video, put it on an advertisement. You make millions of dollars and they come back um, and you're liable to pay them X amount of dollars because you use their face. So make sure you get a, a legal um, document put together for that. Um, but TikTok ads, they're basically very basic. I downloaded one of Revlon and the actress Zendaya, she was in the bathroom for some kind of red carpet event and it, they didn't edit the photo. I saw some blemishes on her face and stuff like that, but she was in the bathroom. She was putting on Revlon makeup and she was talking into the camera as if she was doing a TikTok video from her bathroom. And they uploaded that on TikTok and it looked like it did very well. I saw lots of likes, I saw lots of comments and it caught my eye because it wasn't picture perfect. So if you're gonna be doing advertisements on TikTok, I would even recommend that if you do advertisements on Instagram, that you really create an organic look, an organic feel so that when people are uh, taking a look at your advertisements, they feel as if they can see themselves with your product, they can see themselves with your service. It doesn't seem over the top. Um, and even if you do have a budget to get an A-list actor, an entertainer, or a social influencer, make sure that they film that video with your products um, in their bathroom or at home, outside, you know, um, Jason Derulo and a lot of these TikTokers, they literally, all, the, all of their videos are advertisements. They get paid I think Jason Derulo gets paid between $75,000 and up for every TikTok video he does. And he has a drink in his hand or he's got some kind of an outfit. Uh, and he does it in his backyard. So I really love, I, it's very unfortunate what's going on with people with respect to the pandemic and COVID. But I love this era because it's really making uh, marketing so much easier than it was before. I remember companies that I used to help They'd have third party companies sometimes um, in the budgets of $10,000, $50,000 to do one video. And now you can literally get an influencer or you can do it yourself, be in your bathroom, in your backyard, by the pool, on Thanksgiving, um, in your kitchen, and just do a video and make it so easy to do that people would think that you, hey, how are you, Donald? How is it going? And so just make sure that if you're doing TikTok or even Instagram videos, treat it as if you're doing an Instagram Reels video. Um, you don't have to have a high budget. And it's funny, we're talking about videos because um, uh, IC Films Productions is a videography company in my city. It's, you came in at the right time. So when you're doing your TikTok ads or Instagram ads, make it uh, real organic. Um, don't use Photoshop or anything. Just make it really, really basic. Uh, and the goal for doing it basic is to make people feel as if it's it's all about relatability and marketing is hi friends leggings how are you it's all about relatability so when you're doing your TikTok ads and your Instagram ads um, make it basic make it simple make it fun and exciting and I'm gonna go into um, a fact that I found out that 16% of uh, consumers said that companies are not sharing interesting content on social media. That's really, really sad, but it's the truth. Um, and that's no shade to anybody or even myself, because I'm sure people are doing it better than me or doing it better than you. But 68% of buyers think that companies content sucks, which is a great opportunity. And so what I found through my research is that um, these consumers are looking for comedy, they're looking for entertainment, and it doesn't have to be, again, a high budget Hollywood production, 30 second video on TikTok or on Instagram Reels or on IGTV. It's just add some humor, add some entertainment, what that is for your brand and your company. I can't really guide that. If you have any questions though, I can give you a couple of ideas, but people are looking for excitement. People are looking for familiarity. People are looking for something that's going to make them laugh, smile, and refer your company and your page to other friends, families, colleagues, and business partners. 
So the more of a fun aspect that you can add to every piece of content that you put online, and I know sometimes that's hard to do in photos, but I can say for myself, last week, I think I did the first selfie of the year. And as I was taking my nature walk and I was taking my selfies, the, the, um, the slideshow I shared of my selfies last week, I was like, okay, I could do a regular selfie, I can tilt my head, I can smile, but what else can I do? So I just went like this. And I don't know why I did it. I just kind of wanted to make people feel like they were, someone was either laughing or smiling when they saw those selfies last week on my page. And so everything I do has to have an entertainment aspect behind it. Unless I'm talking about something serious, which I never do really on this platform. I have to make it fun. I have to make it exciting. I have to grab people's attention. I have to create some kind of warm butterfly feeling in people's stomachs or in their hearts to make them trust me. And when you repetitively do that every single day and everybody's finding their mojo, I'm still finding my mojo, believe it or not. Every Saturday morning when I wake up and I'm ready to do my TikTok videos, I don't just think about TikTok, I think about Instagram, I think about um, my, my audience on Facebook business groups that I share my content. I'm thinking about LinkedIn and I'm thinking about, okay, last week was good, but how can I take my videos to the next level? Um, I'm getting to a point now where I'm downloading more TikTok videos in one day than I ever did in a week. Um, but it's because I'm getting used to the fact that people love a little bit of humor, a little bit of fun, something that's going to make them smile first thing in the morning. It sets you apart from your competitors. And I do believe that in the next couple of years, everybody's going to have to get on the bandwagon of adding comedy and entertainment to the marketing. But why not, why not, why not start now? Why not get ahead of the curve? Why not get ahead of all the other companies and the solopreneurs and the freelancers and the contractors that do what you do and show up every day and start creating entertaining content now? And I know maybe you might start off and you'll see crickets. Nobody's laughing. Nobody's smiling. Maybe people will go in your DMs because they don't see any comments on your pieces of content and they'll provide you with some feedback. Um, and that's okay, but the more and more you get into the groove of sharing entertaining content, you'll know exactly how to show up the following week and you'll start building that confidence and that personal brand that, you know, and sometimes even, hey, how are you? Thanks for joining. So make your content fun, make it exciting. Um, it's very sad to say that only 68% of people think that companies' content um, that think that, sorry, only 68% of people think companies' content lacks any kind of interest, but it doesn't mean that that's not an opportunity. That is a problem. That's a big chunk of companies on social media who think they're creating great content, but 68% of, of people don't think so. So that's an opportunity for you to say, okay, Saturday morning, Friday morning, whatever it is, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to look at my content, I'm going to look at my competitor's content in my city and my competitors across the globe, and I'm gonna see what they're doing. Now, I spoke to an HVAC company, a heating um, and air conditioning company, several months ago on my Canada Business Show. And before we actually had each other on our lives, I told him I rarely see HVAC technicians doing what you guys are doing. You guys are like the only HVAC technician that I've seen, and they're not even in my city, they're on the other side of the country of where, where I live. And he said the same thing. Yeah, I rarely see HVAC companies doing fun videos, um, taking videos of um, heating, um, you know, um, I, I don't know what that, water coolers or whatever the case may be. And they're winning and they're creating a, a brand for themselves and their following has um, increased as a result of creating comedic and entertaining content uh, because they automatically know that HVAC, it's a dry, topic nobody's googling i'm not going to leave this live and google hvac technician it's boring right but you can add some fun to your content and make it light um, make it fun make it simple and talk to the camera as if you're speaking to your best friend i think that's one of the biggest things when it comes to content is speaking to your audience as if you're speaking to your best friend because um, before the pandemic i can tell you that i go to several different restaurants and I keep going back to one every week because it's a family owned business and they treat me like I'm their family. When I go in there, they don't skip a beat. How is your business? How are you doing? 
uh, you know, I like your car, da 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 da. And they treat me like family, so why don't you bring that family vibe that you have when you meet clients in person or on Zoom chats and bring that to your social media content. And again, if you're just doing one piece of content a day and you're creating a fun family vibe, friendly, welcoming persona, if you keep doing that every day for 365 days of the year, your business, it can't, it cannot fail. Um, or you at least can't say your business can't fail, but at least you're going to have some kind of um, a good groove going on Instagram and TikTok and other apps um, and really build a community of people that refer you so you don't have to work so hard or pay too much in advertisements. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to share today, um, which is a big thing with uh, trends this season, is spark conversations online. And I know some, some of you might have access to Clubhouse. And Clubhouse is a great opportunity for you to actually do your own little live stream and have complete strangers jump into your live. Um, other platforms that you can spark conversations is on TikTok. Uh, where you can literally go live unannounced if you want and you can get potential new followers of people that are following you based on what they see on the For You page. And I think sparking conversations is really important and I say that because aside from being an entrepreneur or a manager or whatever it is that you're doing, people really want to see what you stand for, your ethics, your morals, what you believe in, and they want to get a sense of your personality and see how much of an expert you are. Because there are a lot of people who uh, run businesses, but they're not experts. Their employees are experts. So show up, spark in conversations, uh, go live once a week, maybe 10, 15 minutes, answer questions, do product reviews. But um, if you're going to do a product review, just make sure that you allow about five or 10 minutes just to answer questions. And if people are not asking questions, just start picking people out of uh, the crowd. And you can start saying things like, you know, I liked your content or happy birthday, I saw that post and start creating conversations online because once you open up the door for conversations, you're slowly building trust every single day. And you can probably tell in my captions, I do that on purpose because my content is not about me showing up and showing you I went to a restaurant on the weekend. This is about saying, you know, what are your favorite restaurants? What are you guys doing? I wanna to get to know you. Um, and you want to get to know me, so I'm going to spark every opportunity to have a conversation with you every day and every post and every live stream, etc. So I know I shared a bit there. Hopefully um, you were taking notes, and if not, that's completely okay. But if you have any questions, uh, leave them below. I know marketing, it can be very difficult at times. It could feel very frustrating, especially if you have a full-time job or you run your business alone, but you have to put together the products and you have to you know, do this and do that. Uh, marketing, it, it's a way of life, it's, um, but I'm here to help. Uh, so if you have any marketing questions, social media questions, branding questions, um, email marketing, anything that's on the top of your mind, leave a comment below and I'll do my best uh, to answer it. I've got more content coming soon. I am taking my TikTok videos to the next level. Uh, because I know how much of um, a reaction I'm getting uh, here, especially on Instagram. And I downloaded a couple on my phone. I've got some exciting new content coming soon. And I'm just now getting my groove because I don't really overthink these things anymore. I just kind of find a song, um, think about a common question that people ask me, and I film it in a video so that I can give you tips and advice and really show you that I'm here for you. And so... I've got more content coming soon. Um, thinking about doing some other things like some outdoor stuff, um, but I'll kind of wait until the weather gets warm in my city and share that with each and every one of you. But uh, I don't see any questions here, but I do want to thank you for joining my Instagram Live. These are the top um, spring marketing. Hi, Sherelle, how are you? These are the top spring marketing trends. Um, so show off your wins. Your TikTok ads and your Instagram ads need to be really, really organic, really basic, you know, things that you're just filming in your kitchen, nothing too big. Um, and just remember, 68% of consumers believe that companies are sharing uh, uninteresting content, which opens up a door for you and myself to take our com content to the next level, have some fun with some comedy, some entertainment, some skits. 
you know, um, act as if you're the customer, act as if you're the business owner and just really have yourself a good time and spark conversations online. Those conversations about news things that are happening in your industry, some things that are happening in your city, spark those conversations and don't worry about the people that don't get it. They'll jump in and say, well, I've experienced that before or in my city. This is what we're doing. So don't be afraid to put those conversations out there. And if you don't get any reactions, that's completely okay. It's human behavior that when people change their behavior, people usually take a step back. I remember when I first started sharing my TikTok videos here, um, I'd probably say seven months ago, it was crickets. I was getting a lot of likes, but it was crickets. But now I'm getting into the groove of things. I'm building my confidence and it's beaming and you will get there too. Uh, practice makes perfect. All right, everybody, I don't see any questions, but I will be back here next Monday. If you are on TikTok, I go live every Sunday, usually around um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and I think that's 5 p.m. Pacific Central Time. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see next on my Instagram Live, let me know um, in a DM or a comment, whatever the case may be. But I truly want to thank you. Um, the sun is still up in my city and I haven't gone outside yet to uh, take a walk. So my hat is on. I'm ready to go. And thank you for joining me tonight, everybody. Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye.